the entrance and upon. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with his Spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by Paschal Remedies, Transcending the lightness of our earthly parentage may be transformed in the image of our heavenly maker through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of the, our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of earth took their stand and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed. Herod and Pontius Pilate together with the Gentiles and the people of Israel to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsible psalm. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the peoples utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up, and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed, Blessed are, are they all who take refuge, refuge in, in the Lord. Lord. He who is thrown in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed are all, all who all take, take refuge, refuge in the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod you shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, 
There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills. You can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Our reading from the Acts of the Apostles today chapter 4 verses 23 through 31 in it we have the continuation of this beautiful story where the apostles have healed the man who was paralyzed they have been arrested they have been threatened not to go about jerusalem proclaiming the name of jesus and teaching in his name performing signs etc and the apostles return back to the early church. You'll notice the first thing they do. They pray. They don't cower in fear. They don't hold grudges and anger. They don't weep and mourn. Oh, pity me. They pray. And what do they pray for? They pray that God's strength will help them in this time. It's a beautiful lesson for us to remember. When we pray, we should always pray, Lord, your strength, you help me, for I am powerless. Whether it be powerless to change the course of worlds, we can go on social media and complain about whomever, but we're powerless really when it comes to that. You look at the pandemic, you say, oh, we're powerless to a virus. But even before any of this, think about it from my own individual level. How many times have we struggled powerlessly against temptations to anger, to not forgive, especially when we have been hurt or someone we love has been hurt, powerless against addictions, powerless against so many things. All of these, we can say, yes, Lord, we struggled with that before we got into this position. Let us pray every day, Lord, I am powerless. You have to help me. In that beautiful and simple prayer, there is a sense of freedom. I can't control it. Lord, I give it to you. And I will allow you to dredge up in me what needs to be worked upon. I'm just going to do my part. And that's the beautiful aspect for our end, is that we don't just turn it over to God and say, okay, I'll wash my hands of it like Pontius Pilate. It's your problem, God, not mine. But no, we take up our mantle and say, Lord, I am going to do the best I can to remember what I need to work upon and to avoid those nearest occasions of sins. 
But Lord, I need your strength. For without you, I'm doomed to fail again. I know that my life, my history teaches me that. And then rely on him. For the God who promised to be with us until the end of time, the God who did all those miraculous things in the New Testament, that same Jesus Christ, that same God is still present with us at this moment. Although the roof may not shake, and I, honestly, I pray it doesn't. It, 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 I think it would scare me. You'd just see me running out the door. But uh, that doesn't matter. Faith in his word is what matters. Signs, they're nice, but faith is fundamental. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We especially remember those who are in hospitals, nursing homes, the homebound and the homeless. We pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all first responders, doctors, nurses, scientists who deal with treating patients due to the COVID-19 virus. We pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that God, may, His Holy Spirit, may inspire one of these to come up with a vaccination to this virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video, especially those who yearn to be able to celebrate in their own parish churches. And we pray for our lector and for his family and their needs. For all these needs from this one united family of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, is, is now, now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with his spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love ye yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. 
Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome a pastoral joy every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing that together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with his spirit. Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion and a Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Hallelujah. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that Thou art present in the blessed sacrament. I love Thee above all things, and I desire Thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive Thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though Thou wert already there. I embrace Thee and unite myself wholly to Thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from Thee. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael for the protection of our families. Holy Michael, Michael the, the archangel, archangel, defend us in battle. Be, be our, our protection, protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May, May God rebuke you who humbly pray. pray. And, and thou, O Prince, Prince of the Heavenly Host, through the divine power, power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who roam about the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Amen. Divine grace and protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed, Blessed be Jesus, Jesus Christ, true God, God and true man. man. Blessed, Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed, Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed, Blessed be His Jesus most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most, most holy sacrament of the altar. altar. Blessed, Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God and Mary Most Holy. Blessed be our holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be our glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and His angels and in His saints.